What is going on everyone? Welcome back for another exciting travel vlog. Today we're in Washington DC, up on the Northeast. Today we're seeing something I wanted to see for a few years and never got to. We're going to see the theater that President Abraham Lincoln was assassinated in. The Ford's Theater here in Washington DC. Last tour of the day, 4 p.m. Gonna see exactly where Abraham Lincoln was assassinated. Well, he was sh where he was shot. And then the house right across the street, I believe that's actually closed. It used to be open, included with the tour. But we're gonna see across the street the house that he actually died in. That's closed now, like I said, but was shot in the theater. They took him right, literally right across the street to that house and he ended up dying in the bedroom in that house. But let's go. This is my first time in DC. Closest I believe I came has been Baltimore, but I was never in DC until today. Here we are. <laughs> Ford's Theater. Lincoln was shot right in there. We have about 15 minutes till our tour. And uh, since we're not going to be able to do the house on the tour, I can show you now. So they brought him, they rushed him out of these doors right across the street until this house right here, house where Lincoln died. Now my brother Michael was actually here back in high school when uh, this was open for the tours. I really think it's just not open due to COVID still because it's they take people upstairs, but I'm not sure what floor it is, either this one or this one, but there's a bedroom here or there that Lincoln was pronounced dead inside. Yeah, right in here. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy. Rushed him right across the street from Ford's Theater right there. All right, before we get started on our tour, a little background. So April 14th, 1865, Lincoln came here to see a play. I forget what it was called, it was American something. And as many of you know, John Wilkes Booth went up behind Lincoln and shot him in the back of the head. Now, crazy to me, and my brother and I were talking about this, he didn't die immediately. Somehow he still was alive when he was after he was shot in the back of the head. They rushed him out of here took him to that house right there where he was officially pronounced dead. Uh, with him was his wife, I believe his daughter Mary, I think it was his daughter Mary Lincoln, and then uh, a 28 year old guy, I guess that was security guy that was working with him, but I don't know. Don't hate on me too much if I'm wrong about that, but uh, let's go start our tour. No problem. In we go. I literally thought that this was going to be like we walk in the theater, see where he was shot, sitting in that, and that was it. But they made this into a huge museum. Wow, look at this. Wow, holy crap. This is a, this is a whole museum. Washington in the 1860s. This looks... Uh, this looks nothing like we just saw, huh? Very cool. There's the capital, of course.
this is cool because this is an actual photo rather than just the normal paintings we always see. It's this kid. Mary Lincoln. Mr. Lincoln, I was Mary. thinking. Uh huh. It's an actual handwritten note by Abraham Lincoln. Right there. And this is actual toy sword of Tad Lincoln. The White House back in the day does not look much different. We're gonna be seeing that later tonight. Oh, so I can drive it in. D yeah, driving and <laughs> riding in DC. So this is actually pretty darn cool. It's way more, even my brother who was here, I don't know, 10 years ago said this is a lot more than what it used to be. So I guess they show you this whole thing and then at the end you get to go in the actual theater. I mean, we're in the theater, but you get to go in the theater theater and see where it all happens, so builds up the anticipation. This is really interesting, the President's Day. So I'm not gonna go through all this, but a couple of little things Lincoln's wearing. Lincoln rose early often with the sun. Some mornings he could be seen hailing a newspaper on Pennsylvania Avenue. It's cool. All in a day's work, nine o'clock, the President made the first of several visits to the nearby Ward's apartment. This is really cool. One of the few photographs to show Lincoln in his office at the White House, 1864. Keeping shop, 10 o'clock, Lincoln opened what he called a shop to callers. Quote from Mary Lincoln, I consider myself fortunate if at 11 o'clock my tired and weary husband is there waiting in the lounge to receive me. Busy guy. Afternoon, Mrs. Lincoln inspired with the White House cook to devise dishes. Lincoln and his son, Tad. We just saw Tad's uh, toy sword. Of course, working late nights. Lincoln's work day usually extended well into the night. Sundays, Sundays off for the break. Pretty interesting. John Wilkes Booth. This is something. John Wilkes Booth, 1860. John Ford, the owner of Ford Cedar, described Booth as the most handsome man I'd ever seen. Hmm, that's something. Another quote this is Ford's Theater back in the day. We were just standing right outside, and that's the main building. And then it looks like they added an addition that we entered through here. But yep, dirt roads, DC. After he was shot, took him right across the street to the house. And this is it. This is the actual gun. Wow. Oh, that's a modern version. I think we're going to the theater. Yep, to theater. Wow, 51 steps to the theater. Oh, to theater. The anticipation is killing me. Here we go. It's April 14th, 1865, the world will be changed. I wonder if this is the original carpet. Anyway, here we go. Oh, there's more stuff to see first. Oh, this is so cool. All right, we're gonna go through his day together. So really quick, 8 a.m. 
Lincoln breakfast with his family. 9 a.m. In his room at the National Hotel, John Wilkes Booth rises and dresses. Oh, that's, oh, I get it. This is John Wilkes Booth's side, Abraham's side. So Abraham, for his cabinet meeting, Lincoln sends a message to Ford's theater that he will attend that evening's performance. John Wilkes Booth strolls to Ford's theater to picking up his mail, a little lot. 3 p.m. Lincoln, his meetings conclude for day. Lincoln takes a carriage ride with the first lady. John Wilkes Booth, 12 noon, at the stable Ford's Theater. Booth arranges to rent a horse. Wow. Lincoln, 4 p.m., Lincoln and Mary visit the Navy Yard and tour the ironclad vessel. John Wilkes Booth arrives. Let's just do Lincoln's side. 6 p.m., Lincoln relaxes with old friends from Illinois. Illinois. 8.30 p.m., the Lincolns arrive at Ford's Theater. The production stops and the orchestra plays Hail to the Chief. 10 p.m. Lincoln and Mary hold hands. Mary wonders what young Claire will think. And then, ooh, 10 p.m. Booth enters the lobby. Ford's Theater and heads upstairs to the dress circle. There he goes. This is something. Oh my word. Holy crap. Mom, you gotta go around. It's up there. Stairs. Yeah, these are really cool. Look at this. Mom, you should put these uh, in your house. Wow. I didn't actually think we could get upstairs. Oh, this is the line to go in and see the booth. Wow. Oh, there he is. Right, we're going. Wow, this is nuts. Booth entered here. All right. Booth entered the president box through the door directly behind Lincoln. That's where they were. And that is literally Michael giving us the tour. <laughs> So, as I mentioned earlier, this is not the original chair. The original chair is in Henry Ford Theater in Michigan, which we just, you know, confirmed, but this is a reconstruction of the chair, but it happened right flipping here. That's crazy. That is just nuts. I mean, this is all glass, but you can, you can get out pretty far, and that's where it happened, right here. I cannot believe we're seeing this. This is nuts. Looking down, sitting right there. Booth came through this doorway. Wow. That's where we just were. And this is as close we're gonna get to the actual box. Wow. 
This is almost the view Lincoln had right in there, looking down. I cannot believe we're seeing this. This is insane. Basement. We just walked in here and they gave like uh, sat right down there and they gave like a uh, overview tour, but we didn't we weren't able to come up on the balcony. So that's pretty cool. And they didn't have the whole museum last time. This is not about ten years ago, right? Yeah, yeah not ten that years. I remember. Ago. So Michael was saying they gave like a little. They sat out there and they gave a little presentation, but now they have the whole museum built. Well, we did get to see the house across the street. Yeah, today we don't get to see that. That's closed still from COVID, like I said earlier, but. Didn't get to go upstairs and see the box. This is nuts. You know what I want to know? Huh? I want to know who was sitting in that booth when he was shot. They had a, they had a good had a view. Money. That was a good view. Yeah. Terrible view. Not making fun of that. <laughs> Terrible view. But who knows? Want to get one more view from the opposite side of where we just were? Wow. Here we go. So if you were sitting over here when this happened, that's the full shot, my friends. Wow. They were also telling us that like, Every president from the past, I don't know, 50 years or so, has all came here. So, more recently, Biden has been here. Trump, actually. Trump and Melania sat in the first row down there. Bush, Clinton, Bush Sr. all came to pay their respects to Abraham Lincoln. We've just finished the tour. Now you got a better understanding. Washington, D.C. today. Ford Theater rushed him right out. Right to that house and he died. Right up there. I don't know which floor, but right there. What do we think? That's freaking cool, huh? We learned a lot. Learned a lot. I'm so glad we got to do this. It's very sad, you know, to think that it actually happened, but it's a piece of history. That was so cool we got to go on the second level. Very cool. All right. We're signing off from Ford's Theater with the fam. Mom and Miguel. Very happy. Mom's hair is blowing in the wind. Anyway, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below. Until next time, we'll see you all soon on the Travel Channel. Don't forget to tip your waitress. Don't forget to tip your waitress.